Take a 12 cm tall cake, 5 inches in diameter. Roll out some yellow modelling chocolate to about the third, thickest setting on the pasta machine. Trim the edges and make sure that it's going to collar the height of your cake. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit sticking up, we can trim that off. Cut out another square of yellow modelling chocolate. Make sure that it's big enough to fit on the top of your cake. Taking a scalpel, you can run around the edge and cut it perfectly round to fit your cake. Perfect. Now take a hairdryer and just soften the edge using your fingertip to marry the two edges of the modelling chocolate together. Take a 5 cm in diameter cutter and cut out two white circles for the eyes. Now take a little bit of orangey brown and a little bit of black. Using a 3 cm cutter, cut out four circles. Slightly offset the brown onto the black and using the same cutter, cut it out again to get a perfect circle, this time casting a black shadow on the eye. Take a small plunger cutter and cut out the irises. All they need now is a couple of small white highlights to bring them to life. Now taking a knife, gently lift your eyes off your mat. Place them onto the two large white circles and your eyes are finished. All it needs now is a quick blast with a hairdryer to soften the edges. Roll out some blue modelling chocolate about two inches wide. Make sure that it's long enough to go around the outside of your whole cake. Trim the edges and wrap it around. Cut out the bib of his overalls now, about two and a half inches wide. Trim it up and put it in place. We're also going to cut a small pocket. Every minion has a pocket. I'm just going to open it a little bit just to give the illusion that it's a pocket. Take some white and black modelling chocolate and mix them together to make grey. Put it through the pasta machine on its thickest setting. This needs to be about two centimetres wide. We're going to double it up so it's twice as thick. Trim the edges and then cut it down the centre. This is going to give you the rims for his goggles. Using your knife to liberate the eyes from the mat and wrap his goggles around. You use a small plunger cutter to cut some tiny dots. These are going to be the rivets for his goggles. The beauty of modelling chocolate is, is you don't have to use glue. Modelling chocolate just wants to stick to modelling chocolate. We are however going to use a hairdryer just to soften the surface of the yellow so that the eyes adhere properly and don't slide off. Take some blue and roll it out into a little sausage. Use your knife, cut it in half. You now have two trouser legs. Taking a ball of black, roll it into an oval. Now take your knife and slice it straight down the middle. You now have two little shoes. Take two more balls of black and flatten them down with your thumb. Fashion two mittens. Take some more yellow modelling chocolate and roll it out into another sausage. Trim the edges so that they're straight, then taking a knife, cut a diagonal to create two shoulders. Attach each arm to one of the mittens and then attach it to the body of your minion. 
Roll out some blue modeling chocolate nice and thin and cut two straps. This will hold his pants up. Now secure the strap in place with two small black chocolate buttons. Now all you have to do is hold his goggles on his head. So cut a thin black strap and wrap it around his head. Using some of the leftover grey, create a thin strip and cut two small sausages. These will be the connectors that hold a strap onto the goggles. This whole project was a 5 inch in diameter, 12 centimetre tall chocolate cake on a 9 inch board and we used 380 grams total of modelling chocolate.